You're kidding me, right? I, I, I got the notification on my computer because, you know, I have a script. Hikari Roo just uploaded a video on being a handler. They remade their video. I knew I should have recorded this earlier. You know what? I'm going to post this. I'm going to post this anyway because I have my own original ideas on here. And I'm not going to watch their video until I'm done uploading this one. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Sush. Shut up, Sushi's here. Where I talk and you Sush. That intro is stuck, you cannot escape. On today's episode of Sush, we're going to be talking about handlers. One, what is a handler? Two, how can you be a handler? And three, what are some tips and tricks that you need to know? Before we get into this video, make sure you leave a like and share. I would recommend sending this to someone you would like to be your handler. So what is a handler? A handler is someone who watches over you in fursuit. Since depending on the fursuit, the vision does vary. And believe me, it is very helpful to have an extra pair of seeing eyes. A handler should be someone that is rather close to you, whether that be a friend, a guardian, or anybody that kind of fits those description. They should be a trusted individual. I mean, would you really have a stranger look after you? Besides just being a pair of eyes for you, the handler must take care of you in fursuit. That means providing water for you, providing food, making sure you don't overheat, as well as making sure that you're having a fun time. A handler must make sure that you don't get into any trouble or that no trouble approaches you. So now that we discuss the basics, how can you be a handler? First, let me run you into what you need to do if you are a handler. First of all, water. You must bring lots of water, both for you and your fursuiter. If your friend needs any prescription medication, that would be very helpful to bring. I also recommend bringing EpiPens if your fursuiter or if yourself have allergies. Having any sort of identification will be very helpful. That includes the basics such as keys, wallets, IDs. I personally would recommend bringing a brush because when you pack a fursuit, there is no doubt that it will get pretty messy and no one likes an unbrushed suit. From personal experience, I definitely recommend bringing snacks as one, they can refuel your energy. Two, I mean, who doesn't like snacks? And three, for long hours of suiting, you really need to stomach something. Being a handler means you must go wherever your fursuiter goes, even if you're in a convention. Oh, did I forget that you pretty much have to carry everything for them? That could include a little sewing kit just in case of emergencies. Again, food, water, the essentials. Also, if they decide to buy anything, you must be able to get their wallet for them and pay for it yourself, since pretty much grabbing money with paws on doesn't work that well. But being a handler does not come without its hardships. You have to be well aware of where your fursuiter is at all times. If there is a small child in front of you and your handler does not alert you, you and the child could potentially get hurt, especially behind you. If someone comes at you from behind and you are unaware, it will definitely give you a heart attack. That is one of the ways to give your favorite furry a heart attack. As a handler, you must make sure that your fursuiter is hydrated and not overheating. A lot of fursuiters get heat stroke because of how hot it is inside our suit. You must know the signs and the symptoms of heat stroke. To help you, here are some of the symptoms. A handler must also be able to defuse hostile situations. If there is a drunk adult, your handler must be able to push you aside or say, hey, do not interact with that individual. This might sound pretty weird, but as a handler, Make sure kids do not kill your first <laughs> Kids, they see a fluffy animal and they're like, oh my gosh, yes. And they go all over it. They pull the ears, the tail. It is not a fun time for their fursuiter. So make sure that you know what kids interact with and you know how to defuse the situation. If you go out in public, people will have questions. Make sure that your handler probably has a little paragraph or has an answer to each question, as I think that is very smart. For example, some people may ask, why you dress up as animals? Why do you do that? What are you? What type of animal are you? Any sort of questions like that, your handler should be able to answer. Be warned, when you are out in public, you are representing the entire furry fandom. I beg of you, do not dig a deeper hole for our reputation. And now, if there is any dangerous situation, any hostile situation that you need to get out of, do not be afraid to take off your fursuit head. I beg of you, if your safety or someone else's safety is in danger, please take off your fursuit head. It doesn't matter if it breaks the magic, yourself or your friend is more important than your fursuit. A lot of times, many fursuiters will feel very happy or very energetic and bubbly right before heat stroke actually hits. Please tell them to drink water. If they're happy and bubbly, drink water. If they're slow and not moving around, drink water. Water is essential for fursuiting, so make sure you have tons of it. Now, what are some tips and tricks for you when you are a handler? 
I have seen a lot of people use hand signals or specific movements to tell their handler something since they can't talk in fursuit. Here are some of mine. Get me out of the situation. Water. This means children or there are children approaching. These is adults or adults approaching. I am hungry. And SOS. You are free to use some of mine or even make your own. In conclusion, a handler is not an easy task. But it is also an amazing opportunity and you will have a lot of fun. Please make sure you bring lots of water, know the science of heat stroke, and make sure you know your fursuiter's body language. Anyway, before we wrap up this video, I would like to read out my special patrons. Shout out to Slobber Canine, Sugar Corpse, Coffee House Canine, Giving to Cool People, Jack O' Lantern, Creepy Vintage Things, Simply Plays, Absolute Chaotic Mess, Rogue Stitch, and Zachary Foster. Thank you all so much for being part of my Patreon. You guys really mean the world to me. I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.